for many decades, prairie habitat has been in decline because of our food system and you know the expansion of monocultures of, of corn and soy have created a, a landscape that's dominated by agriculture. The monarch butterfly was petitioned for listing under the Endangered Species Act, so it's definitely a species in need of conservation action. What most people don't know is that the status of the monarch, it's really an indicator of the, the health of the entire prairie ecosystem, so we need to restore the balance. What do our plants do? It's kind of been taken for granted. These native grasses that have these deep roots would be able to sequester CO2. They're able to infiltrate water. They're able to eliminate nutrients from the soil that would normally run off into our streams and rivers. So they provide all these ecological services, but more importantly, they also provide a tremendous amount of food and habitat for our wildlife and our pollinators. Oftentimes, industry believes that those things cost a lot of money and that it affects their bottom line. We can have both. We have to have food production. So how do you collaborate to where we all have a common interest? Our farms here have participated in prairie restoration for as long as 10 years. We're always looking for ways to add value. The biggest driver is the opportunity to maintain more soil moisture. Then we have the ability to use that prairie grass for the pollinators and the monarchs that are coming through. And now it's led us to the collaboration that we have with Rice Line All Alternative Energy, venturing into how that prairie grass could be an alternative feedstock for digestion to make energy. This is a three-dimensional approach. We can have energy, we can have ecological services, and we can have wildlife habitat. And the landowners benefit from a market-based solution. The fact is that there aren't enough of those type of prairie patches across the landscape to support the monarch in enough numbers. Our hope is that prairie restoration that is coming out of this, this partnership will serve as a model for other companies. They will step up and see the potential of this kind of conservation. We're really creating another loop in the value chain that continually adds to an environmental impact. It supports our initiatives for carbon reductions and it is the right thing to do. Seeing this kind of prairie habitat and all the monarchs flying around and using the plants there, it makes me optimistic for the future because it works on this farm, it's, it's beautiful, it's productive, it's helping the farmer, it's creating a more resilient agricultural system. This kind of habitat can be replicated in many other places across the agricultural landscape.